uh, Commissioner, thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, we've been kidding a lot about you having a tete-a-tete -tete with Connor about the skills, and then he goes out and wins the million dollars, which we thought was well, very I, gracious. I, it's not that they were designed the skills in his favor, but we Don't wanted want and, and agreed that this should be an event that reflects the game and the skills of the game, and that would be a format that's fun for the players. And I think the players had a great time last night. It was exceptional. Kelly Rudy was actually passionate about how great it was. It truly was, and, and we were kidding, obviously, with Connor, uh, his leadership. Uh, the only things, were there any things that you thought you could fine tune to make it go by quicker, or was there anything because it seemed like a, a boom. Well, you and I were talking yeah. about the fact that you thought there was a little bit too much time between events, but we have to set up, and right. we've got one sheet of ice. I think for the first time out, it couldn't have been better, but we'll, we'll really break it down and look at it and see how we can improve it. Uh, but everybody here in this yeah. building was engaged. It was fun. And we're off to a great start today. And, you know, having the celebrities part of it, having the players pick their own teams, it looks like they came to play. And this is a great start to a fun afternoon. I saw a nice photo of you at uh, the Pride Cup. The Gay Association of Toronto provided two teams a championship game. I actually awarded the, the, the yeah. Pride Cup this morning so and a check for $25,000. Highlights. You've had three days now and you've been all over the city. What are some of the others? The the highlights have been how engaged this city is. This is a hockey city. There's no question about it. You see almost everybody on the street wearing sweaters and people are enthused that we're here and you can feel the vibe. But this is, you know, look, for 107 years this league has been in this city and what we get from the people here, from the environment, the Hall of Fame, it's just spectacular, and you can feel it. It's palpable when you're here. So let's go around the country a little bit, and we'll get into Utah and Randy Smith and what's going on in Arizona, but let's start with Ottawa. Michael Landlauer, Mark Sutcliffe, the mayor, told me that of all the candidates who were vying for that Ottawa Senators franchise, Landlauer was the one who seemed least fixated on the real estate play. I mean, he was really dialed into making the team a winner and working with... Go on. It, it, it was really Michael with his background in hockey at a variety of levels, including owning a piece at one point of the Montreal Canadiens, was really somebody who was focused on the hockey and what a team in the NHL means to a community. And his view was, if I get the team, I'll do the right things for the team and the community, and I'll figure out the building. And I think that's what's going to happen. He actually, I think, prioritize things in the right way. Well, what, and you can teach us a little bit about, because, uh, you know, when you hear Atlanta's coming back and Cincinnati's... Well, I didn't say anybody's coming back. <laughs> well, no, but you <laughs> said uh, with they're, interest. They're expressing lots of places. And is that because of the real estate play? Is that because it's no, more than just a hockey I, thing I, now? I think having an NHL franchise has become extremely desirable. Our game is attractive. Our players are attractive. The system we have is attractive. The competitive balance is attractive. People are gravitating to our game. And places that don't have an NHL team, many of them seem to be interested, whether it's Atlanta or Quebec City or Houston or Utah, Salt Lake City, and, and Kansas City, and Cincinnati. I mean, we're hearing from all over. It doesn't mean we're going into an expansion mode, but it's gratifying to know that our game is doing so well and so well respected that so many people are interested. So in the case of Ann Lauren, I'll come back to that idea of, uh, because maybe Toronto has a concern, and I'll point that out in a second, but Ann Lauer, so he could do a real estate play out in Canada. He's got 60 acres there, but he's working with the city because they're uh, reducing Using their government footprint, there's land available. It's also, there are population shifts, particularly millennials and Gen Zs as they're getting older. Many of them rather be able to take public transportation or walk the things near where they live. And so the question is going to be what's right for the greater Ottawa community in terms of the location of a venue. Not just for hockey, but for concerts and family shows. And like, what can make a difference in a positive way in the lives of the people who live in that community? What happened for Calgary, the last thing on that, how, how do you unite a community? Because Arizona didn't work. The vote went the wrong way. Well, uh, you know, 25,000 people, I think, voted. I think it lost by 2,000 votes. Um, and most 
most referendums involving sports teams and buildings lose overwhelming in Columbus before we expanded there they had a referendum and it lost and the building got built anyway and there's a team there uh, Alex Morello the owner of the Coyotes uh, is passionate about the team and is working very hard to secure another location. So my point about uh, Toronto, let's say, if you get to 34 teams with expansion, that's a one in. Well, you're you're going to extend the idea you're, of expansion. You're like jumping ahead. Okay. 30, we're 34 teams already. So we're, what's Randy Smith going to do? That he's going to take Ryan Arizona? Smith. You mean Ryan, Ryan Smith? Sorry. Yeah. But, no, no, we're not talking about relocating Arizona. He's come to us and he went very public, saying, "I'm really interested. I have a great deal of support." And we would like you to consider us for an expansion team. Uh, he has, of all the interested parties, been obviously the most aggressive. And we haven't figured out what we're going to do with it. But obviously, the expression of interest is very gratifying. I had a Zoom meeting with the governor and meeting uh, a number of the members of the legislature, the leaders. And they're telling us how great Salt Lake City would be for the league. And the Olympics are probably going there in, in is there the any, 30s. Yeah, that's great. That is great news, by the way, uh, four nations in the Olympics. Toronto, back to that one in 34, or even one in 32. Is there sort of a pushback on 16 teams in the playoffs? The chances of us winning Come a on, cup? Well, you're focusing on the playoffs for an expanded league that doesn't exist? No, no. <laughs> just period. The, the idea is you. I, I, I like when where you we win, are now. Good. I like you're where good? we are now. We don't have to be symmetrical. We weren't when we expanded to Las Vegas. Right. Let's take it one step at a time. We don't know that we're expanding. But we're certainly listening to the expressions of interest. Okay. Lastly, obviously, the uh, story of the World Junior Team 2018. Uh, it's not your story, and you did do the press conference uh, the other day. It's an extremely sad story, Gary. It, it's a horrible story, uh, and if the allegations are true, I mean, it is horrific. It's disgusting. It was inappropriate. But there's now a judicial process. There's a press conference tomorrow, and presumably we're hearing some indictments. Uh, from the legal authorities in London, Ontario, but out of respect for the judicial system, we need to sit back and wait to see what they do. And when the system, the judicial system runs its course, we will respond appropriately. And you had the answer to the, you know, we're all looking for uh, this presumption that a report, a verdict will will deal with the culture, will help our society, will help well, our it, young. It, 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 the, at the end of the day, as I said, what was alleged is just wrong and we did our own investigation but we weren't privy to what the authorities in London were doing and they were doing their own thing we didn't even get a heads up and I'm not saying we should have and so we really now need to respect the process and we will then take it from there Monday London police will have their uh, press conference thank you Gary a great always, weekend always good to be with you and it has been a great weekend we're thrilled to be in Toronto Commissioner of the National Hockey League as a uh, we wait for game two of our all-star round robin here at Scotiabank Arena.